Okay, right here is a 1998 Hitachi EX1100-3. The EX1100-3 series was first introduced by Hitachi in 1996 as a replacement for the older EX1100-2 series. Available from Hitachi in either front shovel or backhoe configurations, depending on what the customer preferred, the EX1100-3 was designed to swing a bull clam ranging anywhere from 7.4 to 8.2 cubic yard capacity in front shovel configuration and swing a rock bucket ranging anywhere from 3.7 to 7.8 cubic yard capacity in backhoe configuration. This EX1100-3 is set up in Hitachi's bulk excavator configuration with a 24 foot 9 inch boom, an 11 foot 2 inch stick, and the big bucket that you see on the front of this machine is 7.8 cubic yards. Right here you can see where the two boom cylinders pin to the superstructure on the machine. And if you look right here, on the front of the machine's superstructure, you can see the machine's model plate that lists the machine's serial number, and you can see where it says EX1100-3. Twenty-eight inch crawler shoes were standard for the EX1100-3 in both configurations. However, Hitachi also offered optional wider 35 inch crawler shoes for when this machine is working on softer ground surfaces. And this machine has two travel speeds. 1.6 miles per hour in low travel speed and 2.2 miles per hour in high travel speed. And to help give you an idea of the size of an EX1100-3, this excavator measures 14 feet 10 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 17 feet 5 inches wide. In front shovel configuration, when equipped with the raised operator's cab, this excavator measures 17 feet 9 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 16 feet 10 inches wide. Let's go up on top of the EX1100-3. Okay. Inside of this first compartment, here you can get a good view of the swing control valve block. And inside of this compartment, are three variable displacement swash plate axial piston main pumps, each rated at 129.5 GPM, which work together to develop 388.5 GPM to power the front attachment and swing function. And a separate 16.4 GPM gear type pump powers the machine's pilot control circuit.
Okay, now let's go up top. Okay. Mounted directly behind the operator's cab on the left side of this machine sits a 161 gallon hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right here. And mounted on the opposite side of this machine sits a 317 gallon diesel fuel tank, which you can see right here. These red canisters that you see right here are for the fire suppressant system. And right here you can see the cover over the engine house. Let's check it out. Okay, the EX1100-3 is powered by a Cummins QSK19C, which you can see right inside of here. This is a water-cooled direct injection, four-cycle turbocharged inline six-cylinder diesel engine that produces 550 flywheel horsepower at 1800 RPM and 1950 foot-pounds of torque at 1400 RPM for this machine. And right here you can see where all of the hydraulic hoses run from the hydraulic system out to the front attachment to power the cylinders. Here you can see where the boom pins to the superstructure on the machine. The EX1100-3 utilizes two high-torque axial piston motors to power the machine's swing function, one of which you can see right here, below where the boom pins to the superstructure, and the other is located back here, in front of the main control valve block. Let's go inside and check out the operator's cab. From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the EX1100-3. Let's take a look at what some of these controls do. Okay. These two hand levers that you see directly out in front of the operator's seat connect to the two foot pedals on the floor, and this is how you travel this machine. Each foot pedal controls each individual track. And off to the right and left sides of the two travel foot pedals, you can see two foot rests. The two joysticks that you see off to the left and right sides of the operator's seat control all the digging functions of the backhoe attachment in the front or if this machine were set up as a front shovel. Off to the right side you can see the control panel with all the gauges, warning lights, and other switches to control other various functions on this machine. And further back on the right side console, here you can see other switches to control the engine throttle, the air conditioning and heating, and also controls for the fan speed. And from right here, you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running an EX1100-3. And the noise level inside the cab of this machine is rated at 78 decibels.
from underneath here, you can see where the two travel motors are located to propel each individual track. And take notice that both the hydraulic motors and the hydraulic hoses that run to power the motors are encased inside of these metal shields. And this is to protect the motors and the hydraulic lines from any rocks, dirt, or falling debris when the excavator is in operation. And from here you can get a good view of the machine slew ring. And on the back of the machine's counterweight, you can see where it says, Hitachi. And the overall operating weight of an EX1100-3 in backhoe configuration can range anywhere from 113.5 to 116.2 tons. And in front shovel configuration, the EX1100-3 weighs in at 115.7 tons. The EX1100-3 was discontinued in 2000, and the following year, in 2001, Hitachi launched the new EX1200-5 model as the successor for the EX1100 series. But there she is, a 1998 Hitachi EX1100-3.